Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Tiago Enrique Gomez da Rocha was born on the 4th of February 1988 in Goiania, in the state of Goias. He never met his father who abandoned his family before he was born and was raised by his grandparents and mother who had a relationship with another man. During childhood, he was sexually abused by a neighbour at the age of 11, and he was bullied at school, which evoked romantic fantasies as well as a sensation of anger. It was his sexual assault at the age of 11 that led to his desire to become a murderer. As a child and young adult, he was seen as a shy and introverted individual. In 2011, he committed his first murder, as by the age of 22, he felt that he could not stop himself and felt like he had to commit murder. His first victim was 16-year-old Diego Martin Mendez. He then murdered two homosexual men. He then went on to murder prostitutes and homeless people throughout 2011 and 2012. His modus operandi was to stab prostitutes, shoot homeless individuals, and strangle members of the LGBTQIA community, including homosexuals and transvestites. His final murder was that of 14-year-old Ana Lida Gomez on the 2nd of August 2014, who he murdered at a bus stop in Seloa Moada Nova in Goania, the capital of Goias. A speed camera caught the motorbike that Rocha was driving. It was found that the motorbike license plate had been stolen in the parking lot of a supermarket in Tiago in 2013, for which Rocha was arrested and fined. On the 12th of October, Rocha attempted to kill another individual but was unsuccessful and the individual was able to give police a description of Rocha. Able to link him to the murder, he was arrested on the 14th of October 2014. At his mother's home, the suspected murder weapon, a .38 revolver, a motorbike, and stolen number plates were found. Interrogated, it was found that he had committed 39 murders. On the 16th of October 2014, he attempted suicide through cutting his wrists with glass from a broken lamp. But after being rescued, he was taken to hospital where his injuries were considered to be minor and he was subsequently released from hospital. He then underwent an informal psychological assessment which defined him as having the profile of a serial killer, which differentiated him from an ordinary psychopath. On the 22nd of October 2014, he was transferred to the Apacadia de Goiania prison complex. Upon his arrival, he was found to be in possession of an illegal firearm. Upon interrogation by police chief Eduardo Paldo, who was in charge of the investigation, Tiago admitted that he wanted to kill other individuals. As a result of his sexual abuse, he always felt like a victim, and this was seen as the main motivation for his murder spree. In early February 2015, Tiago was evaluated by two psychiatrists from the medical board of the Goya State Court of Justice, where he was diagnosed as a psychopath, but was judged to be legally responsible for his crimes. In May 2016, despite being suspected of 39 murders, he was convicted of 11 murders and sentenced to 25 years in prison. Thank you for watching, please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment, it helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.